My shop is a mess. Here's the story. Lately, I've been wanting to do some organizing in my workshop. And I was listening to Steve Ramsey's Creative Culture podcast, and he had one on decluttering. And it inspired me with some ideas that I wanted to try out. Okay, confession time. I'm something of a pack rat. It's true. And I've been thinking about that and thinking about the reasons why <laughs> that just might be. And so I came up with three reasons that I think explain all this stuff. One, so the first one is just that I think the stuff might be useful, which results in, you know, collections of spare bolts and screws and just like parts of old projects that, you know, might be useful someday. I have a whole box just of, of small pieces of wood because uh, I think they, I might turn them into a project like this, this little guy, this little house I made. Uh, you know, you can do fun, creative things with even small pieces of wood. And so I end up keeping a box of just little tiny pieces of wood. So the second reason I hold on stuff is I just don't want to be wasteful, especially stuff that takes years to grow. I just hate to see things wasted. And the third reason is the cost. You know, money doesn't grow on trees and it certainly doesn't grow on the trees that are in my yard. And, uh, you know, I think about the cost of wood, how it skyrocketed during the pandemic. And, and even at normal prices, it's still money, and I don't like to waste my money. And so kind of these reasons together result in me holding on to stuff longer than I should. So why now? Well, I got inspired by that podcast, and, you know, all this clutter it just gets in the way. And I end up having to move some of it to get to something else I need and then I end up moving back to get to something else I need and then honestly I just start tripping over it and it's a safety hazard and I'm either have to stop to pick it up or I have to think about making sure I don't trip over that thing I don't want to have to worry about that and then honestly despite the fact that I think that it might be useful someday -da, uh, I simply am not using most of it okay so now I'm going to tell you the one single most important thing that I had to do to kind of set my mind to clean this stuff up. Here it is. I had to give myself permission to replace anything that I had thrown away but in the future find useful. For example, if I throw away some old screws that are laying around, if I find I need that size of screw in the future, it's okay if I go buy it. If I throw away some scrap 2x4 cutoffs, it's okay if I go buy it in the future and not hold on to it in case I need. And this just kind of freed my mind up to allow me to start getting rid of some stuff. So the first category of stuff I'm going to get out of the shop is stuff that doesn't even belong here. Like I've got camping gear. I've got this cooler. I've got my camp stove. I've got miscellaneous stuff in this bucket. I don't even normally store it here, but I've been letting it sit here taking up valuable space for a long time. So, out it goes. Miscellaneous screw bucket, out you go. And surprisingly, I have all these papers. Some of these are from like our YouTube outlines and some are plans and anyway, I got this thing right here to organize them. I'm not gonna do that now, but organized they will be. Now it's time to tackle the biggest problem, which is scrap wood. So here's what I'm looking at. I've just got buckets and boxes of scrap wood. That's a project. I think there are two boxes under that mess. There's a box. There's a box and a bucket and a box or a container or whatever. There's one. That thing used to be my desk collection. I'm going to throw the lid and the tube away and keep the bucket for gardening. If you were scrap wood in one of my scrap wood buckets, this is what your view of my shop would look like. So I just lined up all the stuff I've been storing here in the garage, and it's unbelievable how much I've been keeping tucked away here and there. Take a look. Okay, so I counted 12 boxes of scrap wood. It's crazy. I don't have room for that in my shop. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to keep three containers right in there. 
probably a couple of those milk crates and a bucket or something. I'm going to keep this tall box right here for, you know, I've got some tall, thin dowels and fragile pieces. No, I did not make that model. And over here, right in front of this container, I'm going to keep that container. I'm going to keep two taller uh, boxes for tall stuff. And then my really tall stuff will go here and my sheet goods will go right here. So in the future, the idea is that when the seven containers are full, I stop collecting scrap wood, that it gets burned or thrown away or something, or I replace what I have and throw that away. My hope is that system will keep my scrap wood problem under control. Well, that was kind of a dusty, dirty, sweaty mess, but I got a lot cleaned up, so I want to show you what I did. But before I forget, I want to recommend today's watch party snack, and that is Doritos dipped in cottage cheese. Hey, I know it sounds weird, but it's pretty tasty, so give it a try. So let me show you what I got done. Under this table, I'm keeping two of these uh, milk crates and a bucket. I'm keeping that tall box for the skinny stuff that will break easy. This box right here, that's a project box. That's not scrap. That's a project I'm trying to finish up. And I decided just to keep one of those two cardboard boxes for the taller scrap. Over, you'll see here, I clean up all this and all this. And I put my sh the sheet goods that I decided to keep uh, over here. Big improvement. Now, as you can see, my shop's not all cleaned up. The big thing I accomplished today was cleaning up that scrap wood. Well, I ended up with about four containers of clean scrap wood that will be good for burning. I don't know yet if I'll keep it all, but tonight we're gonna have a fire and maybe roast something over the fire. And by the way, before I forget, I just wanna give some credit to that podcast. I listen to for some good ideas for decluttering and getting me thinking about this. I'll provide details in the description. I filled one of my garbage cans with scrap wood and I have to say it was a bit of a revelation and I learned a couple of things. Number one, I thought I was saving scrap wood in case I might need it. But what I realized was that I didn't even know what I had and so it didn't serve that purpose anyway. And second, I realized as I was going through the scrap wood that a lot of it, I just didn't, I, I didn't want it. It was such poor quality wood and I want to work with better wood than, than I had been keeping. So that was a good thing to learn. Today was a great project. I hope you were inspired to maybe uh, do something in your shop. And I hope you check out this video because I think you're really going to like it. See you next time.